Hey friends, oh, welcome back to the channel. My name is Shantae and in this video, I am installing some twists back into uh, Kalia's head because they are so easy to manage and with school kicking back up, they are the perfect protective style. So before we jump further into this video, let me not forget to invite you to hit that subscribe button and come join the family. We would love to have you. And to all of my returning subscribers, hey mama, hey bestie, hey friend, it's nice to see you once again. All right, let's go ahead and jump straight into this. So I have one half of her hair already twisted up. So I'm gonna show you guys my process, the products that I'm using to achieve these beautiful juicy twist so I have to make sure her hair is wet so I'm missing it down with some water and then I'm going to coat everything with the TGIN rose water leave-in conditioner I love the entire line down from the shampoo conditioner I've used the twisting cream and the gel every product that I've used so far has been wonderful the leave-in conditioner works wonders it softens the hair so it allows me to be able to detangle her hair with ease Once her hair has been fully detangled, it's time to go in with the Rose Water Styling Gel, also by TGIN. I'm going in with one pump per section. I'm doing pretty small sections, so one pump is enough for her entire strand. Then I'm going to begin doing a three strand braid. This is going to keep the base of her hair nice and tight. And once I rotate, a few times probably about an inch down i'm then going to uh, split one of the three strands so that it can form two strands and we are going to continue two strand twisting all the way down to the ends and i am doing a rope style twist and what that means is you are twisting the hair while twisting it around each other it does take a little bit of practice but i have been doing it for so long that once you have your rhythm down, it is super easy and it moves by so fast. And with the three strand braid at the base of her roots, it's going to help these twists last a little bit longer rather than the traditional two strand twists. So of course I'm going to repeat this process for the entire back half of her hair because I plan on doing some corn rolls in the front half. I just didn't want to sit here and do individuals throughout her entire head. And plus I wanted to change it up just a little bit by doing a design in the front. So the two products that I'm using is all that I applied to her hair and they are working wonders on her hair. This style lasted her three weeks before I finally got around to taking it out. And to be honest, once I did take it out, her hair didn't look as bad as I would have expected. It could have probably held on for another week, but I don't believe in keeping protective styles in for more than three or four weeks. So I went ahead and re-washed it so we could restyle it. And now to get into the front half of her head, I'm going to start off doing a middle part down the center of her head. And I tried to make sure that this middle part is centered, but it has got to be the most difficult and challenging part to ever do as a middle part. Like I will find myself redoing and retracing and re-etching out that part 50 million times trying to make sure it is straight. And it doesn't matter what angle I check from, I always feel like it's off and then I retrace it again. So I'm applying some gel here because I want to make sure that her hair is going to lay down nice and flat when we do these cornrows. And I'm applying a braiding gel by Shine and & Jam. And I've used it several times. It has worked great for all of my girls and myself. And I'm kind of doing like a triangle part. So it's gonna start really skinny at the beginning of the cornrow and then gradually get thicker at the end. And of course, once I get to the end of the cornrow, Roll, just like I did with the two strand twists in the back I'm going to split those three strands into two strands and begin to two strand rope twist the rest of the hair down
Now, before I proceeded with the two strand twist, I did want to detangle her hair because once I started corn rolling it, it kind of formed a little bit of knots. And for me, a nice juicy twist is always detangle free. So I'm applying some more water back to her head, applying a little bit more of that leave-in conditioner to soften it. And I'm just going to detangle it real quick, apply my gel, and then begin to two strand twist. I'm gonna repeat this process all over for those corn rolls. And once they are done, I'm gonna go in with the Pretty Strands hair oil. This is a hair oil that I have been using for years. It smells very herbal and medicinal. So if you do not prefer that smell in your oils, I do not recommend, but it is a heart hitter with a lot of heavy oils and it works great for my girl's hair and scalp. And she is all done. I laid down her edges. The twists look amazing. I did add in some beads later just to kind of add in a little a bit of accessories and a little decoration to the curls but that is going to complete her protective style for the next three weeks we appreciate you guys joining us on a another video if you have any questions below about this style please leave it down in the comment section we will see y'all on another one be blessed and be safe